Welcome back to the DSI Coaches Conference. Back in 2014, the Laurel Bulldogs were a force to be reckoned with. They made it all the way to the Division II Championship game. A year later, they finished with a disappointing 3-7 record. This season could take another dramatic pivot as former Woodbridge assistant coach Eston Ennis steps in as the new head coach. One bright spot for the Bulldogs has been the defense, which didn't allow more than 21 points per game in five games last season. If things on that side of the ball can stay strong, everything else is looking good for Laurel, which returns senior quarterback Perez Nichols, who's expected to have a huge year. To see for the Blue Jays are coming off of an 0-10 season and are entering their second season under head coach Dwayne Henry. Seaford has totaled just five wins in their last five seasons, and their last conference win came five years ago. Coach Henry emphasizes to his team that, hey, they're a family, and one guy who clings to that is one of their senior leaders, Zebo. Things looked bleak last season as Indian River began their season at 0-3. They strung together some dubs and ended up finishing 4-6. Second-year head coach Philip Townsend has elevated expectations for a squad this season, which will likely contend for the Henelopen South this year. They're returning dynamic backs Gerald Foreman and George Martin. This program has some great history, as it's the last Henelopen South team to win a state title, which was back in 2011. For more on the Indians, let's send it to the desk. Trey and Spencer are joined by Coach Townsend. Hey, we caught up with him, Coach Townsend. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you fellow, for having uh, me. Fellow Seagull. That's right. That's fellow right. Seagull. Short, just one guy from Wesley to actually know what we're talking <laughs> about with football, but I guess we can do the segment. Well, whatever, man, whatever. You're, you're a West Coast guy, so we'll let you slide right now. All right, Coach, first thing we want to get into, uh, we talked about it a little bit in your scrimmage with Parkside. What are some of the things that you kind of learned in your first year as head coach? Well, you, you really never know what to expect coming in. Uh, the kids, the parents, the community, are they going to buy into you? Uh, and I felt like uh, the community, the boosters programs, and the kids really bought in last year. We started out 0-3, and, and all these coaches know if you start out the season 0-3, it's hard to keep your guys together. Yep. And uh, we came out, we started 3-0 in the Southern Division, and then we ran into Woodbridge. <laughs> At 0-0 <zero>, <laughs> halftime, I'm going in thinking, all right, we're, we're, we're doing good things. And uh, they, they ended up putting 30 on us in the second half. Ooh. And uh, we kept the team together. We, came, we bounced back, uh, beat Del Mar, and then uh, we went to Lake. Mm -hmm. And uh, Lake, Lake had a solid team last yes, year. And, but uh, the kids really bought in. We had a great group of kids, and I, I'm, I'm looking forward to this year. I'm kind of like the rest of these coaches. That was last year, and we're moving on. Yep. Might have a chance to get him back this year. Well, let's talk a little bit about that duo running back between Martin and Foreman. Pretty good to have both those guys Very coming good. back. A little bit of speed, a little bit of power. How excited about that? And talk a little bit about transitioning to offense to kind of have both of them on the field this year. Yeah, one of the things we talked about as a coaching staff, you know, uh, we looked at last year, how can we get everybody on the field? So what we did is we, we made some decisions in the offseason to change up the, the offense. So now we're going to have Martin and Gerald, both of them on the field at the same time. And uh, I think it's going to be difficult for some defenses to stop those guys. One's more of a perimeter guy. One's more of an inside the tackles type runner. Um, and we'll, we're going to take what the defense gives us. And Coach, uh, we talked uh, uh, in your scrimmage, uh, we touched on a little bit. It seems like every year, Indian River, even with Coach Steele, when we had Coach Steele here a couple years ago, yeah. he talked about a quarterback competition. Seems like there's always a quarterback competition going on at Indian River. How is that uh, quarterback competition looking for you guys this year? Uh, we started out with five guys wanting to play quarterback. We've pretty much got it narrowed down to two right now. We got one scrimmage left. Uh, against St. George's, which is a, a powerhouse, mm -hmm. power uh, really good team. So we'll really get a good idea who our starter is going to be. Uh, right now it's between uh, junior Brandon Hoffman and freshman Jalen Sneed. Wow. Okay, well, Coach, uh, let's just go ahead and get straight to what everyone yeah. wants to know. Straight Gerald Foreman. Gerald uh, Foreman, right over here. Strong, right strong over here. gentleman. Yeah. Went on record to say you guys will win the Hennelman South this year. So I would like to know how the head coach feels about that and ask you straight up, will you guys be winning the Hennelman South this year? Well, I like his attitude. Uh, Fair. As a coach, as a staff, we're always striving to do the best. The Henlopen South is the Henlopen South. It is competitive year in and year out from when I played here. You never know who's going to win. Yep. This year, Delmore went 1-9 last year. They could be the front runner. You don't know. It could be Lake, Woodbridge. I mean, all these teams are very, very well coached. Uh, each year they get new players, and every year it's something new. Uh, 
I could say we're gonna be we'll be fighting for the South. We okay. started out three. We got a little we got something. We got a little something. We'll, out we'll, of. Be, we'll be fighting for the South, but you know we got we got some guys in the way. We got you know, Delmar, yep. Lake, yep. Woodbridge. So it, it'll be a fun well, season. Coach, Looking coach, forward to it. We will certainly be watching. We'll certainly be watching that uh that law firm of Martin and Foreman. Yeah, we can't wait definitely. to get out there and watch your guys. Thank coach, you so much for joining us. All right, guys, we're down to our final <laughs> conference. When we return, conference I'm pretty familiar with. A lot of has changed since I ran the trenches in the Bayside oh, South. We're gonna talk about it a little bit more when we come back. I'm Matthew David Pizustam, and I play Bennett football. I'm a wide receiver, and you're watching Delmarva Sports Insider.